Hello and welcome to my channel, House of Gemini. My name is Diana, and today I will be doing a thread up 15 pair of shoe unboxing. This comes to us from Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. So fingers crossed that this is better than the last few boxes I've had. First up, I've got a pair of Puma sneakers. They look to be in pretty good shape. It all came rubber banded. I um, was struggling when I started the video, so I decided to take them all off. Next, I've got a pair of Zara. And these are fun, but they're, you know, show signs of wear. Um, I'm not sure that they're leather or not. And the uh, insole thing is coming up, so I'd have to try to tack that down again. They're fun. <clears throat> Platform. Uh, Candles. Next, I have a pair of naturalizers. These are just a black loafer. They're in decent condition. Don't see any major thing wrong with them, except for that the leather from being banded together is kind of dimpled here. Um, they've got little bead accents. I don't know if it's picking up there. Those are cute. These are comfort shoes, so I will definitely get those listed. I've got a pair of Sperry's. These are heavy duty leather and then the plaid here. And those are in pretty good condition. They're a little bit dirty. Um, I will definitely condition the leather and um, clean them up a bit, but I will get those listed. These are great for spring. Vince Camuto little boot wedges. They're very cute style. Um, however, they do show somewhere. So I'm hoping I can get these cleaned up a little bit and then get these listed. A vintage Vince. I don't know from how far back they go, but they definitely um, show the age by their inside here. It looks like part of the old tag. It is leather upper. And these are a size seven. What a just sandals. They are leather on this brand, MTNG Originals. I'm not familiar with. I don't know if the light. It's cold and dark and rainy here today, so I don't have much natural light going, and the light I do have isn't the best, so apology. Apologize for that. These are cute. They're black leather, and they've got fabric on the backs and then woven into the wadach itself. So um, the bottoms show quite a bit of wear. I can get these cleaned up a little bit and I bet you somebody would love to call these their own. Sperry striped canvas shoes. They just show some wear on the bottoms and sides so I'll get these cleaned up a little bit. Since they have a suede lace, I wouldn't wash these. And the canvas looks okay. There is some spots with the show a little dirt, but I could try and spot clean them, I guess. Matisse wedges. Um, these are not leather, typically, or man-made material. And they do show um, signs of wear, especially like on the heels. You can see here. They're cute though. If I could get them cleaned up a bit, that'd be fabulous. Otherwise, I may, um, take this as my first pair to try and paint. One of the YouTubers that I follow, she does a lot of rehabbing and um, I've been wanting to try that myself with some of these pairs that I get because they're very cute. It's the style is amazing. It's just, um, there's a lot of wear, scuffing and such. There is a pair of New Balance sneakers that do show some wear. I've tried to throw these in the wash before and when they're on the verge like this, they came out worse and I had to just throw them away. Um, I hate to throw anything away, but these are so dirty and I'm afraid if I wash them, they'll just disintegrate. The insoles are already lifting. Um, these will probably just get donated. A pair of Nine West. These are, they feel like leather. Peep toe flats, size eight and a half. And they look to be in really great condition. 
there's somewhere on the bottom. They just need to be wiped down. And then I hate these stickers that they put on on TJ Maxx and Marshall. So I will try to get that off with a little goo gone. They're my size, so I would happily wear these these spring and summer. I didn't bother taking apart because I'm just going to donate them. They are naturalizers, but the heels, look at that. They just look like chewed up, like somebody's puppy got to them. Um, so sadly, these will just go straight to donation. You can fix um, pleather or patent leather when it's chewed up like that. There's nothing that can be done. These are really cute style. They do show a little bit of wear. These are um, Kendall and Kylie. Um, Kendall and Kylie collaboration with Madden Girl. So the style is really fun. Got the little zippers on the back and there's just a little bit of wear. But they're so cute that I think I'll list them anyways. But Bop Cure, I don't know how you say that. These are uh, these are a better brand uh, shoe. I have not sold these myself. Um, they've got the little plastic, so they, they have not been worn. Size seven. And they're a suede mule with the bow accent. Very classy, small little kitten heel. Um, so I will definitely list these. Hair of uh, Kenneth Cole Reaction slingbacks with heel. They do have pretty substantial wear on the heel there. I imagine these would be perfect for someone with a spring formal who just wants a shoe, um, you know, to go to the dance in and dance with. No one's gonna be looking at her feet when she's got a gown on. So that would be something that would be perfect. There is some uh, wear in the inside too where the it's starting to peel off. So I would sell these for, I don't know, dirt cheap. Just because the condition, I'll try and sell them just because of that <clears throat> spring formal and proms coming up. Maybe somebody wouldn't care about that condition. Then the last pair, and these were so hard, I, I didn't even try to get them off because there's like six rubber bands on here and they're so tight. These are Cole Haan Grandaz. So it's a nice leather, chunky heel with a zipper accent in the back and the ankle straps. So it's a nice uh, looking shoe. There is some wear here on the toe bud and on the heels. Uh, and they're also very small size, five feet. But I will also list these just because you know, somebody might pick them up for the right price. And I've been surprised. I have sold some things that have some visible wear and defects. And um, if people can get it for a great price, I don't think they'll shy away from it, especially if they're just going to wear it like once, you know, like a spring formal. So that is 15 pairs for $80. And that's shipped. I'm a VIT, whatever that is, very important thrifter. I spend a good amount of money on thread up past year and so I am at the level where I get free shipping so that is another reason why I keep giving them business even though I get a lot of garbage from them oh I just noticed that this whole strap is detached so that's a bummer see it's detached from there so you can't I could no one could wear these even if they wanted to um, maybe I'll email thread about that thread up about that if you have a major issue like that on um, something, sometimes we'll work with you. These are just going to be donated. They're just in crummy condition. Other than that, I think it was a pretty solid box. I didn't have any things spectacular. I think this was my favorite, the best um, for money making on this box. A lot of these need a little TLC. These are super cute. They just need some work. Sperry's, they don't sell as great as they once did but they are classic so hopefully I can get those sold yeah I mean overall I think it was a decent box and um better than my last that's for sure I've got more unboxings coming your way so don't forget like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one